Hello from Kyiv. I hope you have a good day. Uh, you know, I'm a person that received a different comments since the full-scale invasion in my Instagram, TikTok and on YouTube. And um, I also kind of person that I focus only on the positive things. But there were a lot of negative comments and a lot of also positive and a lot of also support. And I had an idea about my new video uh, how people live during the war with uh, all the holidays, vacations, um, beauty routine and so on and so on because I had a different situation in my life and I just want to explain from, uh, like from my side as a Ukrainian how it's to feel like to travel, how it's to feel to go to make a nails or nice haircut or color your hair uh with uh, with the war and how people like uh react for example a year ago there was a blackout in city kiev and we have like maybe four hours electricity per day sometimes it was day without electricity without water and so on and uh you know we used to go for beauty salons and go for work and uh, do our life routine and i as well and i just did for fun tiktok video about how i dye my hair in a beauty salon and a bump shelter and how i do my nails in the uh, darkness in a beauty salon using generator and also do a sport in darkness and there was a lot of positive comments and also was a lot of negative comments sometimes like the same comments that i get sometimes on my instagram like how come could i have my nails done while it's a war in my country Like, if, if you do your nails, it means you don't have problems. And I understand this is a comment from people who have no idea about the war. A uh, long time ago, when I read a book, Eric Maria Mark, about the war, I also was surprised like about drinking tea outside or something else, like how come? And then I understand like, yes, sometimes there is rocket attack, sometimes something happened. But sometimes you have like three hours, like right now. Uh, there is no air raid sirens and so on and so on. And we just live our life. And about the beauty salon, I feel like so proud of myself because uh, I go for a beauty routine. I pay for my nails so the person can earn money. I support my economic system. I stay in Ukraine. I go for supermarket here. I live here. So I support. Uh, economy of my country i didn't go abroad don't use like some help some money from other countries i don't judge no one i just like tell about myself so like i'm staying in my country and i go in my country and paying for my nails like what's the problem and people really got like upset like it's a war you shouldn't do this and uh it's one it's one about everything like uh whenever you're doing something like some joy uh, either drinking coffee, either going out, either going to the restaurants, like how come uh, you cannot do this? And uh, it's, uh, you know, it's a little bit strange. The soldiers did a post on Instagram like, for what we are fighting, for what we are dying, we are fighting that people can live their lives. So uh, civilians can go out play with their kids, go to the cafes, restaurants, walking, and they happy that they have place where they can go back from the war. So, oops, <laughs> I hate it. It's, um, oh, it was uh, that uh, rat in the street smashed by car. Okay. So uh, the, uh, they told like, for what we are dying, um, and and they also happy one day you know when soldier have uh, some days off from the front lines to see their families they happy to go back happy to go out walking in the peaceful streets drinking some coffee it's like, it's like they happy to see that there are some cities in ukraine don't see the war like you know 30 percent in ukraine is under the occupation but we are happy that we still have place where we can return and and like leave that is what they think about because a lot of them lost their hometowns and like at least they can go to Kyiv, to Kharkiv, somewhere else and just enjoy the place 
the place that was not under occupation um, and the place didn't bump like each building yeah so this is what i want to say about like beauty routine and some cup of coffee and uh, so on and so on i'm glad that at least i have the desire to go out and uh, to have some joy because when everything started i couldn't do nothing i'm happy that i get the job with my media team and i was busy but i have no desire for nothing nothing makes me happy everything was just like march 2022 i have zero interest for everything for food for travel like nothing nothing interests me like i got like a uh, stress for the i don't know for a long time and i have no wishes no desires i a person who like to travel since then 2022 i didn't want to go nowhere and only later since 2023 i decided to go out a little bit so also about the holidays and vacation and going abroad you know uh when i go abroad somewhere and people ask me oh from where are you from i say i'm from ukraine and sometimes people like um okay like it's like you know maybe they think and i say like poland or some other town of uh, or other country but like ukraine and some people like get like either shy either shocked and so on so do you know what to speak with me about for example um uh, i was skiing in march uh and uh, the one guy barman asked me oh from where are you from and like different questions and i was like i'm from ukraine and he was like I i'm sorry and Oh, so nice doggy and he, he was a little bit shy so also about the holidays for ukrainians you know the huge difference before 2022 i traveled with an open mind i was too curious to see other countries other cities i like to travel have a lot of energy i was curious about different things now i feel like i'm tired I'm not interested to walk and study history museums of other countries and so on. Like, I don't want. I just need either skin, either lay on a beach, just relax and rest. Something like this. Before, I was happy to explore all the cities, all the places. But now, like, not, not sure. Uh, yeah, this is one part of the travel. But the other part of the travel is... Uh, before I travel with uh, the light heart and light brain, didn't think, think much what could happen in my hometown with my parents, with my grandmother. You know, you are travel heavily when you know that it's a war in your country. First, in 2022, you have no desire. I just want to stay here. I like not interested about like, I just want to travel in my town and be in my town. It's my home. I'm happy about this, you know, and they said, but uh, and before 2022 i'm travel and like very light you know you always know you can jump in a plane and uh, be in a couple of hours back home so before 2022 you know you can just sit in your plane and travel somewhere very fast and uh, right now it's first of all it's a long way out of ukraine but also you travel with a heavy thoughts and uh, heavy dreams like you know you wake up checking the news worried about your family you're worried that something happens when you're not at home and uh, you know you don't have a nice mood for vacation if you see uh, bad news from your country in your town usually when in uh, my hometown or like ukraine something happened and people dying because of the attack um, people have like kind of like silence day in social media because of like uh, it's not correctly to post something fun in the day ways like uh, Russian drones or missiles hit their residential buildings and so on. So you don't have like nice mood and uh, you have heavy thoughts, you worry. So these days traveling is very different because while you get somewhere it takes time and you are travel with different emotions. Not many things surprise me right now, like to be honest, like before uh i was super curious person i was uh, interested about different things and so on but now i'm just like okay like whatever like good whatever uh it's fine it's also nice it's good like i i feel like sometimes i just have seen a lot and uh like 
I don't know, like I'm just happy uh, retired in my hometown, as I said, sometimes. But sometimes, but also about traveling, what I, uh, why I go out, why I, why I travel and why I like to travel, I like to switch my mind. Sometimes it helps. In one hand, it's a heavy mind. You're worried about a lot of things. But, you know, it's so nice feeling that you can go out, you have this opportunity, and you can, th- uh, and you can see the country without the war. Like, it's different. It's different vibe. You know, once I see also the video on social media, like, it was just a nice view of Kyiv. And I just look, wow, very nice view. And people uh, say, like, in the comments, I don't know why, but I can see it's Kyiv before the war. And I was agree. Like, I was filled this video a couple years ago. I don't know. Nothing changed, but you can see the different atmosphere. I, c- I don't know how it's explained. You know, uh, maybe vibe, maybe something changed, maybe atmosphere. I, I don't know. So, and when I go abroad, I just feel like differently. I can feel there is no war, something else, something different. And I can just uh, switch off my mind, uh, relax a little bit and enjoy some activities, skiing, walking, uh, eat different cuisines and coming back home. So to move out, I don't want, but to go for some vacation, at least just for a couple of days somewhere, it makes me happy. Just to, yeah, switch off, change my mind and, and so on. What I also called my life, it's a life of contrast. Uh, it's like, you know, in, uh, 2022 and 2023, I worked with Wall Street Journal and NBC News, and we had traveled around Ukraine, and, you know, it was like strange feelings. We lived in the hotels with my team, and like, you get up, you have breakfast, you inside the hotel, everything nice, you just like, okay, seems like everything okay. Then you sit in a car, and you go somewhere, like, close to the Russian border, or some villages that were under the occupation. You go to Bucha to Irpine, and so on. Like, during the day, you live life, war life, and then you back home to the hotel, and looks like everything nice inside, like, feels like there is no war, and you can have your food, you even can use the spa of the hotel, you know? And uh, I call it, like, life of the contrast. So, it was a very strange time in the very beginning. And... Uh, I also, you can see, I have my t-shirt, uh, who I am. I can survive a five-star hotel and a shittiest uh, train station. It's so about me. I can be during the day in a nice hotel, and uh, next time I can just travel somewhere for the front line, uh, be in different uh, train station. Uh, so yeah, this is my personal life of contrast, and uh, also one story of my life. You know, I uh, used to have my social media and my YouTube channel for many years, and sometimes I just post what I have. And one of my posts was just inside the room. Uh, I just, uh, inside the room of the hotel, and it took a picture of me. And the one guy wrote me, he was a foreigner, like, how dare you are uh, to post the photos from the hotel while uh, there's guys in the front line uh, fighting and like they don't have this room or something like this and i was like okay but what can i do like um um, like he was kind of like uh blame me and so on and so on so i just like you know what i can say never judge people and never say people what to do if you never been in the situation as them so if you never experienced the situation by yourself uh you cannot give the advice like i cannot give the advice to the like person who lost her child in the war or something like this because i don't know how it is so uh and uh like we go through the war you know what is this and so on and some people who lived abroad uh a lot of, like i just again i can say like a lot of you support us and so on but some of people they don't understand like they thought if we during the war it should be a like grief we couldn't leave, we couldn't stay in the hotels, even if it's a work of so. We couldn't go for holidays, we cannot do our manicures, pedicures, go and dye our hair. So it's like, it should be like total drama, a lot of crying and so on and so on. But what about our mood uh, and uh, economy of our country and so on and so on. And okay, why I'm walking here around the same street, all the video and 
speaking about something because I waited my my grandmother from the beauty salon. Yeah, <laughs> it makes her happy. And uh, if you have any bad comments, you can <laughs> write this to her <laughs> because she did a beauty routine today, not me. So yeah, I'm waiting here. It's like almost three hours. And I'm just like, oh my God, I'm just, I'm just dying to do a beauty routine. I just like kind of hate it. I used to have it on my phone or just be busy. Like it's, I feel like all the beauty's routine is waste of time, but I'm so happy with the end results, you know? So yeah, I'm waiting for my grandmother, pick her and bring her back home. And uh, I will show you, show you her, her results, uh, how she looks and so on. Okay, just uh, briefly. You know, in uh, my grandmother, she was born in 1947 and during all her life she used to have different curly hair and uh, it's like some tradition from Soviet Union, some Soviet Union style, like, I have no idea, she just get used different cur cur curls, yeah. And um, after her stroke happened to her, uh, one left arm doesn't move so she cannot do something with her hair it's always disturbing her so everything makes her happy if the hair is fixed so now we do different curls and she will be uh, like very happy we do this maybe like two times per year and uh, then we go home and then she can chill near her home and feel good feel pretty with her hair like nothing annoys her so i hope soon she will be done and uh, we can go oh, by the way uh, during the full invasion we didn't uh, move from kiev ukraine i was working and my grandmother stayed in kiev it was a very loud time and we were very super stressful and uh, i'm happy that she has now desire you know to go out to do something with her hair to walk in near the home so i'm so happy with people who don't have depression and have some desire to do something to live their life even especially like elderies and so on and so on so uh, it makes me happy that i can make her happy uh, with uh, all her wishes and something like this oh <laughs> So we are done. The day was great. Thank you for mu so much for watching. Don't forget to like, follow and subscribe my channel and see you very soon next time. Bye. <laughs>